Okay, so this is problem 19, where we have a voltage controlled current source model. We Sometimes this model is going to be, I mean, you see that we are going to use this model to to model the, the amplifiers that we are going to, and the, the amplifying circuits that we are going to have in this, in this class, 2507. So we just have to find out the, an expression for the gain V out over Vs. So we have Vs here, which is our input, right? And then our V out, that's right here, okay? And there are some steps that we can, can use to basically determine this, this relationship, okay? So first, we know that the current that's flowing here at this, the, the current that's being forced by this current source here, dependent current source, it's GM at transconductance times uh, V pi. So this V pi here gives us, it basically controls the magnitude along with this transconductance GM, the magnitude of the current that's flowing in this second circuit here. So in some sort of way, they are coupled. So there's like a link between uh, those two circuits because of these um, dependent current source, okay? So the first uh, step here is to calculate this V pi in terms of Vs, right? So if we look at this circuit here, it's just like a voltage divider, right? If we take V pi as Vs times R pi divided by Rs plus R pi right? Now for, for the second, uh, once we know this, this V pi here, we can just uh, calculate what's V out now in terms of uh, using actually this circuit here, right? And for that, we can use a current divider, right? Because look, the current here is flowing in this direction. So part of this current GMV pi, this is a, a current, right? It's flowing through this R naught and this RL. So we know that V out is actually this current I naught, right? This current that's flowing through RL times RL. Okay, so what's the what's this current I naught that's flowing through R R L? It's actually so I naught. This is I naught is the current that's flowing here, right? Is equals to the current, the total current that we have, which in this case is minus G M V pi. Why minus? Because it's flowing. So we are taking G out with this polarity here. And we are assuming that I out, I not here, is flowing in the opposite uh, direction as the convention that we adopted for V out. So that's why we are taking um, minus GM. If it was the opposite, if we take like V out as this here at the ground, then it would be GM. Okay, but in this case, uh, that's not the case, so we are going to keep with minus uh, minus gm v pi. That's the current, the total current, right? That's flowing times. Remember, for the current divider, we take the opposite resistor. So times are not divided by R L plus R naught. And now v out is equals to I naught times R L. So at the end, V out is equals to I naught, which is minus GM V pi, right? Times R naught times RL divided by RL plus R naught. So that's V out. Now, because we know an equation for V pi in terms of Vs, we just need to substitute it here and then isolate V out over Vs, okay? So V out, is equals to minus Vs R pi R naught R L G M divided by R S plus R pi times R L plus R naught. 
if we isolate v out over vs, which is what we want in this problem, it's minus, now let me rearrange stuff here, so minus gm rl r pi r naught divided by rs plus r pi rl plus r naught. And that's the final answer. Okay, so that's it for this problem.